I think uh, it's interesting that nowadays many younger people have got very varied careers. Even they might do a gap year before going to university to get some volunteer experience or travel the world. Uh, people work in the gig economy. Many people have two or three jobs working in a bar. They're part of a music band that isn't yet making it big time, but they also have some e-commerce little business. So I think that's the nature of the world. You know, there are fewer jobs for life, or shall we say, standard careers. So I think that's just how the world is developing, and I think employers need to take account of that. Um, that if somebody has done several things, it doesn't mean they are kind of a, like a, have a butterfly mind, it probably means they're enterprising, they're interested and they're involved. And of course they're gaining lots of experience in different ways of dealing with people, learning about technology, about marketing and business and all sorts of things, about the world in general. So I think it can be a very positive asset. When it comes to creative businesses looking for new people, I think uh, we have to um, you know, be quite logical about understanding what skills we need uh, and recruiting in a, a pretty uh, clear way. It's very tempting sometimes to go off just a hunch or to employ a friend uh, and that can work very well and there are some advantages but there are also disadvantages. So I think the standard procedure for recruitment applies. You know we need to be clear what the job is, what qualifications and qualities people need. Some might be compulsory, some might be optional. And then see if people have got those, rather than just responding to a CV. Uh, I think we need to be clear, this is what we want, does this person have X, Y, Z? Um, and then in, when it comes to interviewing, you know, we, we just need to, yeah, again, be clear about what we're looking for and, you know, choose the right person. And the key questions are, can they do the job? Do they have the ability? Secondly, do they want to do the job? Do they have the motivation? And thirdly, will they fit into the team? Which is about culture and style. So that's important. We need to be sure of those three things before giving somebody a job, which is quite a commitment from the employer's point of view you know, to give somebody a job. It's a major investment, actually. If we're spending 50,000 euros on new camera equipment, we, we choose very carefully. But, you know, giving somebody a job who might be employed for five or ten years, what's the value of that? So we should spend time and, and choose carefully. talk about three top tips uh, or actually there's an article I wrote which contains three key elements and the article is called create your own business formula and it's free on my website you can download it in English also translated already into Romanian so if you prefer Romanian it's there and several other languages if you want to practice your Italian or French it's there as well but seriously it's there uh, it's quite short but gets to the point and it says that you should have a business formula this is not a long business plan this is three key elements that will make your business a success the first one is your skills your creativity your passion build your business around what you care about what you are good at what you uh, have some passion for um, because that will drive the business so that is necessary but that's not sufficient just because you are really uh, enthusiastic about making films or music doesn't mean that you automatically will have business success. Because there are two other elements which are important where we have to be smart in a business way. So you have your passion and your creativity. Then you say, what is my competitive advantage? In other words, what can I do that other people can't do? What can I do well in re relation to other people because if you're a fantastic filmmaker but there are also 300 other fantastic filmmakers in your city you don't have a chance but there might be a particular kind of film that you can do well that they can't so that gives you an idea as to which direction to go within your field be different don't follow the crowd if you're doing the same as everybody else you don't have competitive advantage so dare to be different and find that thing that you can do, other people can't. That makes you, that distinguishes you.
that's your competitive advantage. And then thirdly, find the particular customers who want that exact thing that you are very good at. Don't try to sell to everybody. Marketing is not about trying to sell to everybody, just blasting the world with posts and hoping for the best. That's not clever. Strategic marketing is about thinking about which markets you can feasibly compete in and then focusing on those and focusing only on those markets because not all customers are good customers. Some of them are not interested, some will go elsewhere, some will give you headaches and stress, some of them will not pay or will pay very late. So we need to find the right customers and strategic marketing is about that. So if with those three things, your passion, understanding your competitive advantage and then focusing on the right markets, you have the foundation of a good business. And it's all explained very well, more eloquently than I did just then, in the article that's free to download and to share. Also on your website, free to download is your book. Yeah, and I'm glad you mentioned that. It prompts me to mention my two books. Uh, there's T-shirts and suits. This is actually, um, this is the English version. It's published in 13 countries around the world in different formats. It's actually in the Romanian language, published in Moldova. So it is available as a paperback in Romanian. But the, uh, the English version is also available as a free ebook. Um, so you can go to my website, find a link to this very easily, and download the PDF version, which is the full and complete version of, of the whole book uh, in digital format, which you can take and share and print and redistribute. My other book is about strategic marketing, the third element of what I mentioned, and this is called uh, Chase One Rabbit, Strategic Marketing for Business Success. This is actually designed as an e-book to use on your phone. It's all text. This is also in French and uh, Spanish, but uh, this isn't free, but from my website you can find a link to Amazon where you can pay a few euros and download it as an e-book, or you can buy the paperback and both books are also audio books. So if you want to uh, hear the book read by me in my Northern English accent, then you can, you can have that pleasure. It's a very good question, and I talk about this when I give speeches at conferences. I say that uh, I'm talking about business and how to make a profit and how to make a good living for yourself. And then I talk about how I give my book away, T-shirts and suits, as a digital e-book. And I then say to the audience, uh, you're probably confused, I can guess what you're thinking. You're thinking, here is a man on the stage making a speech about business, but did he just say to me that he gives his book away for free? Is he really stupid? What's all that about? And I go on then to explain that I give away my book for free as an e-book for two reasons which are different but not uh, contradictory. The first reason is that my, my mission in life, if I have one, is to help entrepreneurs to be more successful, creative entrepreneurs, creative people. And so that's my gift to the world, if that doesn't sound too corny or too grand, to, uh, to share it so that people can use it, even if they can't afford to buy it or I never meet them or they're in some distant land. Please use it, be a smarter, creative entrepreneur. But at the same time, the ebook acts as my advertising, my marketing, my brochure, my manifesto. It explains what I'm about. It, uh, it, it, when people find it useful, they're intrigued to come to my website and find out more about me. So as a result of the free ebook, some years ago I got a phone call from Taiwan where they said, we've seen your ebook, we like it, and we'd like to translate it and publish it in traditional Chinese and we will pay you a licensing fee for that. Very good. Then they said, we'd also like you to come to Taiwan to speak at the conference and we will launch the book. We will fly you business class and we'll pay, we'll pay you a fee for speaking at the conference. Even better. And while you're here in Taipei, we would like you to de deliver a workshop for young entrepreneurs and we will pay you for that as well. So by giving something away, I got a lot of profitable business and that is a uh, that is a business model I talk about called freemium free and premium combined 
give something away for free, you get big results later. So maybe I'm not as stupid as I look by giving away my book for free. And it's published under a Creative Commons license, which means I retain the copyright, but I deliberately and very consciously and legally encourage people to download it and share it. So the Creative Commons license enables me to control the copyright, but also be generous with it. And it's exactly what I need for that particular project.